So as you can see, as we're moving through this, that Google has a lot of really cool tools. But in my opinion, nothing is better than Google Drive. Google Drive is just fantastic. Um, I'm going to go, go there right now. As you can see from my drive, I have a lot in my Google Drive. I've actually taken my files from everywhere and added them to Google Drive because I love having everything in one place. I really love having access to my files on my smartphone with the Google Drive app, with my iPad. If I'm at my mother's house, I can get on her computer and pull up files if I need to. And it's really been great for me. And the other thing that's really fabulous is that Google has given unlimited storage space to everybody who has is part of a Google for Education school. So what does that mean for you? It means you can add as much stuff to this drive, you will never fill it up. You know, you can put 4,000 videos up here and 6,000 pictures and you will never run out of space. So that's a really nice feature from Google as well. Um, Google did change a little bit. Um, in fact, today is the first day that they have some of the new features, which is why I'm kind of redoing this video today so that I'm showing you the right things. It used to be that when someone shared something with you, you would click on this incoming folder. Well, they've renamed it and now it's called Shared With Me Again. And so when you're looking for something that someone has shared with you, you're going to be clicking on this section right here. Now, one thing that I'm going to be sharing with you in a couple minutes, I just wanted to send you an intro email first so that people didn't get confused, is a class folder. So what you'll want to do is come into your Google Drive and you'll want to click on Shared With Me and find the folder that I'm going to share with you. And then what you're going to do is come up to this top menu and you're going to click Add to My Drive. And then what that's going to do is it's going to take it. You can put it within a folder in your drive. So I, I have a folder for um, the class already that I've created and I can just move it in there or I'm just going to leave it in generally in my drive and then it moves it still leaves a copy here but if you go to my drive you will see it there as well okay the most powerful thing about Google Drive is the sharing and collaborating. And I'm sure that you've all had an experience um, sh collaborating on a document and sharing a document with someone. But I want to take it to the next level and just really have you really understand the sharing. Because it's very powerful, this sharing tool. First of all, anything in Google Drive can be shared. So it could be a video, it could be a photograph, it could be a file, it could be a slideshow presentation. Um, it doesn't even have to be in Google format. It could be a PDF file, it could be a PowerPoint presentation. You put it into Google, you can not only share it, but if I click on a file, um, I can obviously share it, but I can also get a link for the file. So what that means is I can take anything from Google Drive and be, in essence publish it as a web page. So let me give you an example of something that might be kind of interesting, like on a personal level, for something like that. I might take like, I don't know, let me see this as a grid to see what I've got here. But I'll take a photograph. All right, so mm, all right, here's a goofy photograph of my kids. So if I click on this and I hit Get Link, what this does is it actually creates a hyperlink and I can click sharing settings and get more information, but I can click get the shareable link. And what that's is going to do is it publishes this as a website. Now, right now, if I publish this as a website, it's set up so that only people at Fayetteville Manlius can view this picture with this website. So I would want to change that. So I click on this and I really want their grandparents to be able to see this picture. So I really don't want to, uh, I need more options. So I'm going to click more. And I'll just make it public on the web. Or you could say just anyone with the link so that they would need the link to be able to find it. So if I click Save now, OK, and here's the link. I'm going to copy it. I can now just email this link to anyone, post it on a page. When you go to the link, you will see the photograph. OK, so that's kind of how sharing works with that. Um, great for videos too, for publishing videos, and then you can just link to the video. So if I wanted to share this now with people, I would copy this link and I would email it to their grandparents or I could post it on a web page for them to link off of, anything that makes it easy. Okay, so more on, on sharing and collaborating. Um, 
let's just take a quick look at a couple of documents. So I have a document here, let's see, that I know is shared. It's this one we've been working on. It's our image list for next year. And I just want to see, let's see who's, who's able to communicate, who's collaborating on this. If I click on my share, um, first of all, I can share it with people by just typing in their email address, determining what type of access I want to give them. Do I want them to be able to edit the file, just add comments to the file, or just be able to view the file and not be able to make changes to it. So I have that option for each individual person. Um, if I wanted to add somebody, let's say I want to let Matt Six do this, his name does start to populate, and then I can decide if I want Matt to be able to edit, comment, or just view. Okay, um, and then I would hit done and he would get a notification. Now, if I want to take a look, I see already that this file has been saved with Laurel, Ashley, and 14 others. So 16 people are saved here. Let's see what they've got. If I click advanced, I can see that Laurel created the file. She's an owner, but the rest of us, right? So Jim O'Connor can only view the file as well as Mary Coughlin, but some of us have rights to be able to edit the file. Now, you can change the rights in here at any time. So I could say, let me find Janet in here. I'll use her as a guinea pig. But I could say, you know, Janet keeps messing the file up, and so I don't want her to be able to continue to edit it, so I can just change her access to just view. So people within here can have different access. Um, the other thing that you can do is if we could say, you know what, Janet just got a new job. She left the district. I don't want her in here anymore. I can just hit X and take the sharing right off. Okay, and then when you're finished making your changes, you can hit save changes. And notice how it also creates a hyperlink up here. So whoever has sharing rights, if you send them this hyperlink, they'll be able to go directly to the document without having to um, go through their own Google Drive to get it. Just two different ways to do it. So this sharing and collaborating is really cool because not only can you share and collaborate files, but you can also share and collaborate with uh, entire folders. So let me give you a couple examples. I have a lot of teachers at the high school who are doing the flipped classroom model. And several of them, especially in the math department, they're using Google Drive as their way to publish the instructional videos to students. They're not even using a website anymore. So what we did is we created this folder for algebra and if you go in here, each one of the units, I'll go to unit three, we have all the instructional videos for this unit. Now what I've, we've done is in the original folder, this algebra, oops, let me go back, this algebra folder, what we did is we shared this folder with all of the students who are taking these algebra classes. So it's saved with a few teachers, basically 159 people this file is shared with right this folder is shared with right now and if I go to advanced I can see all these users now most there are few of us can edit but most people are only able to view the folder because we don't want the kids to be able to delete the videos out of here so we only give them view rights you can share a file or a folder with up to 200 people which is pretty cool the other thing is folders can be published like web pages as well so you get a shareable link so if I was to click copy on this and maybe post that link to my website somehow or emailed it to someone who needed it when you go to this site it actually publishes the entire folder as a web page which is super cool so now the kids can just double click on it and get all their videos right here um, that's a great use of Google Drive right there. Um, a couple other little things that we're going to be doing in our class is I'm going to be sharing a folder with you, a class folder. And I've already added it to my drive. But what you're going to do is you're going to go into Shared with me, and you're going to find the folder, and you're going to say Add to my drive. And then once it's in your drive and you go into the folder, and where is my folder? Right here. Um, I have some practice files that we'll be working on throughout the class. There's also a folder in here called a participant folder. And what I want you to do is to go in here and create a folder 
that's named your name, and this is where you'll put everything you do in the class, you can just dump in this folder. And, but this folder will end up ha having the same rights as my main folder, so everybody will have access to your folder unless you change the rights. So I'm going to have you add a folder, and then you're going to click on the sharing feature. I'll just demonstrate this for you. And you're going to share this. You'll go to advanced, because then you'll see the list. You're going to remove everyone in the class with the exception of me and you. We will both have editing rights to the folder. No one else will have access to the folder at all. So what does that become? That becomes like a personal Dropbox between you and I. This is another great use between teachers and students, especially some of the younger kids. You could create a folder like this, like an online writing folder. So the kids add all of their writing to it, and you have access to it at any time. And you can go in and make comments and edit and do online grading and give them feedback digitally, which we're going to talk about in a future class. Um, so that's you know great use of the sharing folders, too. Um, Okay, I think that's enough for Google Drive right now. I think you're ready to, pre to try out some of your practice activities. Um, and just don't enjoy and contact me if you're having any trouble. Thanks, guys.